Welcome back to Kampala, where the delegates have begun to arrive for the fourth ALDEPAC conference. One of the topics that we will be elaborating in more detail during this conference will be the engendering of African politics. Despite being one of the poorest regions in the world, the level of women's representation in Parliament in Sub-Saharan Africa is higher than in many wealthier countries. Most of the countries that have achieved significant increases in women's participation have done so through the use of quotas, a form of affirmative action in favour of women. Uganda's quota system evolved during the 1980s, and by 1994, President Museveni appointed a woman as vice president, making her one of the highest ranking women in politics on the continent at that time. But while introducing quotas provides a means for addressing the gender imbalance in decision making, the practice often lacks support from important political actors or meets oppositions in societies that have strong patriarchal traditions. Much like the debate around affirmative action, those opposed to quota systems say they discriminate against men. I spoke to ordinary Ugandans to ask them what they thought of the quota systems and the role of women in politics in Africa. I think it's good for women to stand for. Necessary for women to stand for politics, I think. Men are more corrupt than women. That's why I'm saying if we can, maybe we need more women. Like in political, we need more women than men. Women are less, less corruption than men. We have the, even the chance of going into politics. As youth, you come. You stand, you ask for votes, so they vote for you. So we are at least happy for our system. More good news from Africa and the Aldepak conference in Kampala at this site tomorrow.